How's it going there, fellow junkies? It's Root Junkie here, and uh, today I've got a fun video for you. I'm pretty excited about this. It's finally got my hands on a Nexus 9, so we're going to go ahead and kind of do a full review on it, check it out, show you the new stuff on Android Lollipop on the 9, and it should be a fun video, so let's do it. Alright guys, here we go. This is it. Um, I did get the 16 gig model. I was trying to get the 32, but this is all I had available at my Best Buy, so we just went with it. Um, pretty plain, simple packaging. Uh, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Oh yeah. Watch out for the fingers. Alright. Flip it over. And there is your package. So, very nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Pull it out, very simple to get out. Uh, there's not really much in here, you know, it's a standard, you know, boxing, you know, manuals, Nexus 9 junk you'll never ever read. Sticker. We've got a charging block right there. HTC on it. See that? And a plain and simple USB cable. Nothing too fancy, micro USB, set those aside. And get rid of this box, we'll get down to the good stuff here. Go ahead and peel this open. And there is my uh, Nexus 9. Pretty, pretty exciting. All right guys, let's go ahead and uh, just uh, power this thing up for the first time. Go ahead and hold down the power button. There we go, there is the Google. Very, very, very nice. And there is your standard, um, basically anything on Alibop, Android Wear, like my watch, um, standard boot animations, you guys have seen this probably on lots of new devices. So nothing really new there. Android. Ba-boom. Startup. Yeah. I'm liking it. Very, very cool. Um, let's go ahead and just shoot through my startup. This is going to be a different startup process because it has you know, Lollipop on it. So let me go ahead and sign in here really quick. Looks like I have an update on here. So right off the get-go, you're going to have an update that's going to download, and you'll go through the update process. All right, back through setup again here. Checking connection, take a couple minutes. All right, now we're moving along. Looks like everything has gone ahead and did its update. It's funny that it wouldn't even let you do anything until you updated the device. You couldn't sign into any Google, you couldn't really do anything with the device. So that's that's interesting. So we're going to say add your account. So it says enter your email. There it is. So let me go ahead and put my email in. Email and password are in. It's checking my information now. Just a second. Uh, the animations and the screen stuff, this background color, this uh, UI is uh, nice looking. It's different. See the pro progression bar across there is really moving quick too. Let's we'll see how this goes. Okay. So, get your apps and data. So basically it says restore from this backup. Also include all 39 apps. This was 15 days ago. This is one of my tablets that it's looking at. But you can click here and you can see that I have quite a few different devices um, and I think actually I'm going to restore from Internet TV Box, Tegra Note, another Nexus 7, Bionic. I'm going to actually restore from my previous Nexus 7 because it's pretty much how I'm going to want this one set up anyway or you can set up from a new device. Um, I'm surprised it doesn't actually list more than this because I have quite a few more devices but um, this is what it's listing so I'm going to hit done and this should download all the apps and set up my device just like it is on my Nexus 7. This is the awesomeness of the new setup process in Lollipop. So, let's see what we have here. All apps. Oh, see so here, this is interesting. So it says, also include all 39 apps. So, this is a list of all the apps that it's about to install for me automatically. I'm going to actually uncheck some of these because I don't want them installed. Um, Quick Boot, Netflix, MX Player. So you can see actually what basically what I have on my device normally. Mainly Google, there's a lot of Google stuff on here. 
DLS controller, cloud, busy box, that's fine, Angry Birds, bad peas, we'll take that off. You wanna take that off. So there you go. Pretty cool. I definitely dig this uh, backup and restore stuff for setting up your new device. This is very awesome. Next. Agree. And there you go. It's gonna update your device. Looks like it dimmed me out here, so Google Now, yes, I'm in for Google Now for sure. And there we go, we've got our initial setup. Shabam, Nexus 9. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Swiping back and forth. Got some, whoa, yeah, check out that animation. All right, so now we got our device booted up. This thing's gonna start downloading some applications for me and getting everything set up how I want it. I'm gonna let that run through and we're gonna talk about some specs. First things first, let's go ahead and check out what Android version we're on. So you guys can see that this is the Nexus 9 and we're on Android version 5.0, which is Lollipop. And if you click on this, you get to see the Easter egg. And you can change colors and all that good stuff. I've done a video specifically on this, but it's very cool. And you can even play this flappy droid game if you want. It's buried within the Easter egg. Ooh, this, you know what? This is actually easier than uh, on the Nexus 7 when I played it. It's pretty cool. A little bit easier to play. But anyway, so that's what version we're running for. Uh, the Nexus 9 here, it is very nicely set up on this device. Very, very cool. Go back into settings a couple different ways. And there you go, Android Lollipop. Android L, they would say, but Android Lollipop 5.0. I'm going to be going through all of the apps and showing you all the new stuff in here, but let's finish the specs. So here's the front-facing camera right here. Um, looks okay. You can just tap and, you know, take a quick picture with it. This thing is a 1.6 megapixel camera with an f-stop of 2.4. So, decent camera for selfies, not really anything great for, you know, anything more than that. Maybe some FaceTime, things like that. Nothing you're going to want to take any high resolution pictures with. Um, but, you do have the other camera, which is quite nice. The back camera right here on the Nexus 9 is a 8 megapixel camera with a flash and autofocus. Also has the f slash 2.4 uh, lens. So very nice lens. Let's see how it does with pictures. So here we go. We're just going to tap and see how we can take some pictures with this thing. Should take some decent pictures. Hit the camera button. Clunk, clunk. There you go. Little bar on the side that you dare take all your pictures with. Clunk. You can see the animation on it when you do it. So not bad. You know, tablets aren't really the best for um, you know, taking pictures, but uh, if you want them, you do have an option with it here with the Nexus 9. Let's talk about the screen. This screen is an 8.9 IPS LCD. Now, the difference with this screen versus most of the screens that you're used to is this is a 4, point, or 4 to 3 aspect ratio. So most of your stuff you're used to is that 16.9, which is that wide screen. This is a little different, so you're going to notice a little bit of difference with it. But it really goes works well with this up and down um, hold when you're holding it like it is posted right here. That's going to really work well and give you good spacing and everything with that kind of aspect ratio. But when you turn it on the side, it's going to be um, a little different. You're going to watch YouTube videos. It's going to have some black borders and things like that on it. So you're going to notice a little different with that. This thing also has a screen size of 2048 by 1536. It's got Gorilla Glass 3, which is really nice, so you have a really nice hard screen. And it even has, let's see if I can show it to you, should have double tap to wake. And it does. There you go. So, very cool. I love that they've integrated that into um, this device. I don't know if that's with Lollipop now or if it's just specifically with the device, but it's really nice that you can just tap on the screen and your device wakes right up instead of having to always find that button on the side. All right, well, it's time to talk about the hardware. Probably one of my favorite parts about this device is its processor and its specs are absolutely amazing. So what's gonna make this thing run really, really, really smooth is the 64-bit uh, processor, which is a Tegra K1, which is awesome and clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, if you come in here, you can also check out how much RAM we have. This has got 2 gigs of RAM, and it actually lays it out very nice here in Lollipop. 
you can go ahead and you can see that the system's running right now about half a gig of ROM. Your apps are running about 400 megabytes and you have free about 900 megabytes of free RAM right now, which is just super, super nice. So along with the CPU, which is very, very awesome and makes this device just fly in transitions and everything, you also get a insane GPU. This thing has a GPU with 192 cores. Yeah, 192 cores. That's gonna make this thing amazing for games. Absolutely amazing. Along with that awesome processing power, you're gonna get a 6,700 milliamp hour battery, which should give you plenty of battery life all day to do all of your fun media consuming on the Nexus 9. And lastly, you can go ahead and you can get this in the 16 gig or the 32 gig model. Also has NFC, Bluetooth, and Wi-Fi as you know usual. One of the features I always like to point out here is the speaker location. And on this device, it actually has two speakers, one on the top, one on the bottom. So when you have your sideways facing device, your sound is going to be coming on both sides and you'll have that nice stereo on this when you're watching videos. So I'm really pumped to see how the uh, audio sounds on this beautiful Nexus 9. Also want to point out is your volume power right there, power buttons and volume up and down would be on your right hand side of the tablet. You also have a 3.0 or 3.5 millimeter Headphone jack right there, along with some kind of little light sensor of some sort. I'm not sure how that is working right there. And then one, the other side, you got nothing. Bottom right there, we have our micro USB uh, charging port or data port for connecting to your computer. Moving on to Android L Lollipop. We're going to try to give you as full review here as I can on it. So first things first, let's go ahead and just shoot through settings. And you've seen the about phone or about tablet down there. You can see you have date, printing, accessibilities, so on, backup, reset locations. This stuff's all pretty standard. It does have tap and pay right here, which you can set up if you want to use this device to tap and pay, but you'd have to have it on Wi-Fi. So it's kind of, you know, doesn't quite make sense unless the device is on Wi-Fi to do that, but it is there. You do have multiple users, which is really nice. So here I am the owner and I'm signed in. You can set up a guest account or what I like to do is set that up for my kids and put, give them access to specifically what I want them to access um, and not any of my stuff so they don't mess up my interface. It's just like Windows where you have multiple users. You can do the same thing right there, which is very nice and you have control as the owner over the guest account. So I like that a lot. That's very cool. You can leave that unlocked so anybody can pick up your device and use it and they don't get into your uh, your settings and your email and so on. So very very nice definitely like that. You've seen apps already um, You can go ahead and run through all that stuff right there. We have battery Which this is very nice. It does give you some great information. It says 56% approximately three hours left of time for this thing to run before it's going to need to be recharged um, Along with that when you plug it in it will also tell you how long until it will fully charge so some nice information in battery specs uh, battery saver mode, you can also turn this on and turn on automatically. You can turn that on and when your battery gets down too low, it'll really shut the device down to consume battery life. That's a feature of, again, Lollipop. We'll go into storage. Pretty standard. Nothing too um, exciting in here. Yeah. Um, connect to computer, that kind of stuff. Some different information. Sound and notifications. We'll go into display. So you can turn on daydream with clock, font size you can adjust, cast screen. Now I have the Android uh, Fire, or not Android Fire TV. I should say Android TV Developer Edition or the ADT One. You can see it already sees that on my Wi-Fi, and I can stream or cast right to that from here, which is very very cool. Some rotation stuff, basic information. Um, we've looked through all that, and then Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, and more. NFC stuff, Android Beam, VPN. So pretty much standard in here, nothing too new. 
Um, what I do want to show you is most of the Google applications, they have changed. But let's go ahead and check out our notification panel. So right here you can see standard stuff, you can swipe away or you can swipe away all the notifications which I like that that is in there, that's in uh, a lot of other devices, not really in stock Android yet. We do also have the flashlight button built in here which is really cool and uh, does function. So I like that that's in there, it's been needed to be in Android for a long time so very pumped about that. There's that all cast button again if you want it. Here's your brightness, you can adjust really easily right there. I like how that's a cool animation, how that goes away when you start moving it. Um, very, very nice. The other thing you'll notice is these animations like up here on the top, you see you got You've got the battery and Wi-Fi, right? If you pull down, it goes away and brings in the settings button. So just notifications and, and uh, transitions like that are really what you're going to see here in Lollipop. Along with that, you obviously have the Google Now Launcher because you have this on the side and you can do the commands like OK Google and ask it something and it'll do a Google search for you and it'll just dictate what I'm saying. So very cool. Definitely love that that's in there. It's pretty much standard though. So let's go ahead and check out some of these Google applications that are on here and look at some of the differences. So we're going to look in calculator. This is the new looking calculator here. Pretty, pretty nice. You can see that the colors and that's one of the big things they're trying to push here in Lollipop. Calendar, again, has been updated. And uh, let's just swipe through it. Got it and a new looking calendar. This is a button you're going to start seeing a lot in Android. Um, it's going to do a lot of different things and you're going to see that. So be looking out for that in all of your Android applications. This is your function button almost you could say. It starts emails in, in like Google or uh, Gmail and does all kinds of stuff. So that's, that's a very important button you guys are going to be uh, seeing a lot more of. Camera, clock, let's see how clock has changed. Not change too much. It does dim out there, you can see. So you have alarms, timers, stopwatches. So, pretty cool. Let's see what else we have here. Mail, downloads, just a pop-up. That's interesting. Doesn't feel like it's opening an application. Um, kind of like that. That's cool. Fit in there. That's me installing stuff. Google settings, hangouts. Um, we'll keep scrolling through here. News, weather, play, play books. That looks different. I don't really have anything in there. Games, some games in here. Yeah, that's a different uh, looking UI. So very cool. I like that. That's neat. Let's see what else we have. There's my application right there. Play Store, you've probably seen that updated. Music Player, all that stuff has been updated. Um, it's actually been available for a while. Yeah, here's watch now. Where's my movies? My library. Some uh, movies I like. I, you can see I like kind of science fiction-y stuff. Action, superhero kind of goodies. So there you go. That's pretty much what they look like. I wonder if YouTube's been updated and out of my own curiosity now. Turn this on. So it doesn't look like YouTube has that new uh, UI yet. Um, I'm sure it'll be updated soon since all the other Google applications are being updated. Nicely sorted here, got some folders. I definitely like the animations, it's very nice, very smooth. So there you go, that is my little video here review on the new Google Nexus, Nexus 9. Absolutely love this device so far, can't wait to play with it. Stay tuned if you want to see more on this device, we're going to be installing custom recoveries, rooting, custom rounds, all that good stuff to this thing. My channel will be covering it all on this Nexus, along with the Nexus 6, the Nexus Player, all the good stuff coming real, real soon. So stay tuned for that, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.